With us now is Mike Royce. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. It's Miami. It's fantastic. It's, you know, even compared to L.A. right now, this weather is fantastic. Now, have you been a speaker at NATB before, or is this your first time on a panel? Uh, it's my first time on a panel here, for sure. Okay. So, yeah, it's very exciting. It's a little overwhelming. It's giant. <laughs> <laughs> it is. There's like 5,000 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to uh, some conventions and things like this, but this is definitely the biggest. So one of the things we were talking about just recently um, is that, like moments ago, really, moments ago, um, is that you started out uh, as an actor and started out doing some comedy. Yes. Uh, what was one of your favorite roles when you were acting? Do you remember something that you particularly enjoyed? Well, since we only talked about it a little bit, uh, the part that I didn't get to is I am a terrible actor. <laughs> uh, so I didn't really, I was mostly a comedian. I did actually, I was on, I, on Spin City for one scene because Bill Lawrence was extremely generous to put me in a scene. Um, I was in a couple of uh, commercials, no, nothing big that you would remember. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I think the universe was trying to point my uh, particular journey towards writing. Okay. Uh, so it was fun. I was definitely a performer as a comedian. Um, but acting-wise, I mostly was a writer. Now, when you're writing for something, like you worked on uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, um, are you, do you do the jokes first and then write the script around it? Do you do like the setup, setup, punch part first? Mm. You know, are you going for the laugh? What is the process like for you? Uh, it's actually mostly the opposite okay. in terms of the story is the most important thing. The jokes are always going to be there. So, of course, you sometimes think of a funny situation, um, but it's mostly about, like on Raymond especially, it was a real, you know, and I think for most shows that I, I then have gone on to work on or create, try tr something that feels relatable. So, for example, on Raymond, you know, there was a writer who came in and said, um, uh, he had been on vacation for two, on vacation two weeks ago, they brought the suitcase home. Uh, the suitcase has been sitting in their stairwell for two weeks, and he and his wife were in a passive-aggressive, no one would admit it, battle over who's going to take that suitcase upstairs and and unpack it. And nobody was speaking, nobody was saying anything, but they would just give each other, you know, little. Oh, I wonder. Um, I guess that's still there, huh? Yeah. And it was two weeks, like a stalemate. So you're nodding because I'm sure you can relate because um, it's a very relatable and that became one of our, you know, it's a show that called Baggage written by Tucker Carly that a lot of people remember. So that, that was um, how it worked on Raymond. Then of course jokes come out of that situation, but the situation itself is, starts with like, yeah. Yeah. And now you're working on this. How did you get this gig? How did this one day at a time like yeah. revival kind of happen? Well, uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate to be working with Norman Lear and Gloria calderon Kellett. They, uh, Norman and Brent Miller, who's his producing partner, wanted to uh, do a Latino reboot of uh, One Day at a Time. And that's really the only thing, you know, that was the only part of the idea they had. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it was as simple as that is what I'm saying. So they met with me and just because I'm old and experienced now. Uh, <laughs> and they met with Goria, who uh, is Cuban and also very uh, experienced, not as old as me. <laughs> um, uh, Cuban, uh, a, a playwright, a TV writer. She's multi-talented and uh, fantastic. And we kind of mishmashed, you know, Gloria and I met and started talking about who these characters could be. And I mean, it's very much a reimagining of the old show. So yes. we just take the situation, which is a single mom, but now it's a Cuban single mom. She's also a veteran. She has two teenagers. Um, you know, I have teenagers. That's part of the, uh, you know, what I can bring to the show. Um, and we took it from there. And Rita, your casting. Let's talk a little bit about the cast and how how you pulled all that Rita, together. Yeah, Rita. Who? I'm not sure. Oh, so Moreno, right? Rita Moreno. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I'm familiar with her work a little bit. Um, you are funny. I'm sorry, but he's really funny. Because all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wait, do I have it wrong? Like, <laughs> I, know, like, I saw that in your eyes. I'm so sorry to put that in. Panic. Here. Panic yeah, from yes. the interviewer. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Uh, of course, it's it, Rita Moreno. I mean, the legend precedes her, but then she gets on set. And she, the moment we, our first table read, she hit the first joke and it was like, oh my God, she's a genius. <laughs> and you know, then the star of the show is Justina Machado who has uh, been in a bunch of things, but this is her first uh, big starring role. And oh my God, is she amazing. She's just uh, so hilarious. And then we have a lot of dr drama on the show. Uh, we like to say that each one of our shows comes with a lot of laughs and then uh, a bunch of crying. <laughs> it's very emotional. And she just plays those dramatic scenes and Rita too. And for that matter, the rest of the cast. Um, 
but yeah, it's they're a very accomplished uh, group of people. And the saying, you know, art imitates life. I mean, this is, you're really true. It's a very authentic show. Um, what preparation goes into that? You know, and I know it's doing well because I, I read about it and like, you know, Thank it's you. going, you're doing really well. Yes, yes. We've been, I must say the reception and the critics have been quite kind to us and uh, are very enthusiastic and I mean we just are so thrilled because we've been working on it for a year and a half and we did work very hard to make it authentic you know Gloria is extremely uh, vigilant about the culture aspect in addition to of course her brilliant writing as well uh, and and you know we have a staff of many Latino writers uh, a lot of women on the staff um, as well and we try to make sure all the points of view that are featured on the on the show are, are being uh, are coming from authentic places in the writers room what do you enjoy most personally about waking up and doing something doing a project like this what's your it in life that's interesting you know I I, I run I'm a jogger and I run a lot of days of the week and I almost inevitably come back with ideas and it's usually it's just a way of my subconscious being activated I think that I come back it's usually ideas that have to do with whatever I'm currently if there's a problem on the, you know a story problem we can't figure out stuff that I'm working on so I come back from those runs so high on endorphins <laughs> <laughs> and in some cases, yeah, high is probably the wrong word, or maybe it's no, not. It's but okay. just it's I'm natural high. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. I'm filled. John Devert, no, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm filled with. Um, I'm so excited, you know. And I record. Then I record my ideas. Currently, what I do is I send them to Gloria, who then has to listen to me going, oh, 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 which is a little obscene. But then, you know, <laughs> getting the ideas out. And it's it's so thrilling to be able to have an idea. You know, first of all, to explain to someone else, have them get excited about it, and then take it into the writer's room, and then have that get them get excited. Or, by the way, not excited. That happens too. But to put it on screen, it's, it's just an amazing uh, feeling. So that's what makes me excited. Well, I congratulate you on your long-standing journey in this industry, and I wish you all the best. It was a delight, really a delight. Thank you. Thank you. I really yeah. appreciate it, and so good luck fun. with everything. There Thank you. you. And, and we're going to be running, right? So, yeah, yeah, uh, so, 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 all right. Uh, stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Somebody else is going to be hosting this one. All right, we're going to go out for a jog. <laughs>